Hello guys and welcome to Program Artist. In this episode I'm gonna talk about map types in TypeScript. Map types are just as they, the name suggests, they are types which are mapped from other types. What I mean by that is if you have some type, say type A, and you want to create another type based on that type, you can do this with some kind of mapping, some kind of rule, which maps every property from the old type to the new type. So map types in TypeScript do pretty much the same thing. Before we dive into examples, uh, I really suggest to those of you who are not familiar with index types operators to watch my previous episode about them. So let's see uh, a few examples of what are the map types and we'll, I'll explain you uh, what happens as we go. So let's create uh, a type cat which will be our first type which will create other types based on it. So uh, it will be a simple type which will have an age and a name. Okay, that's it. That's all it will have. So now let's create our first map type, okay, which will be a read-only cat. Okay, and what our cat will be, it will be the same thing as the previous cat, uh, but all the properties will be read-only. We can do it simply by adding a read-only before each property and copying and pasting it, but with map types we can do it much uh, more simply. Simply by doing like something like this, read only uh, type get, sorry, equal, no, no, okay, read only uh, p in key of cat and it returns cat at p. So let's look what we have here. Okay, so our read-only cat has the same properties, age and name, with the same uh, type of the property, but it is a read-only. So let's look what happens here. Key of cat is all of the properties of cat, which is done with the index operator uh, key of. So we enumerate all the properties of the cat, so p is a property. And for each property, we're uh, creating a line, which is a read-only, the, sorry, the property name, and the type is the same as uh, cat at the property name. So if you, again, if you don't remember or know what uh, index operators are, you should really watch this episode. It will be much clearer after you do it. So after we have We've done it, we have a read-only cat. We can do much better. Instead of creating a read-only type for each type, we can create a generic read-only type, which accepts T. And the T will be any, uh, any class, any type or interface. And we can do the same thing. Instead of cat, we can put T. Okay, so I did exactly the same. So when I have, have here a read-only cat2, and it will be generic read-only cat, okay, so this will be exactly the same thing, but now we created a generic uh, type constructor. Okay, it's, you can think of it like this. So we here we created a type. Uh, which is a read-only and it is based on a cat. Same thing we can do for uh, many other types. For instance, let's make it closer here. For instance, we can have a type generic, uh, I don't know, partial t. And it will be the same thing, uh, p in key of t. But instead of simply specifying the type, it will I will specify it is optional. Okay, so uh, it will be the T in P. So when I have type a partial cat, and it will be generic partial of a cat, and we'll look at the partial cat, we'll see that it is 
all the properties of cat are now optional and we can uh, do it com combine it we can do read only partial cat and it will be a generic read only on partial cat okay so now it is read only and uh, optional properties for every property and we can do other things such as uh, nullable types so generic generic nullable t and it will be the same thing uh, for each p in key of t the type will be either t of p or null so type uh, nullable cat will be generic nullable cat so uh, now we can see okay so because uh, it is it cannot be null it can be nullable right now so it doesn't do anything but if we had some constraint on it so let's change it for instead of now we can change it to an object okay so now you can see the effect uh, I will return it to be null so the example will make sense uh, you can do uh, other things such as okay let's make it more clear like this like this okay you can do other things such as suppose you have an interface proxy and it has a get t and a set t functions okay now you can create a type which is proxied with the proxy and how you do it you create a proxied type okay so uh, for each property of t the type of it will be a proxy to t so in, let's look what we have as in proxied cat okay proxied cat what we have here we have a, a cat which the properties are proxies so now when we have const cat which is proxied cat okay so when we have we access the age we cannot access it with simply the property we need to use the get function okay it will not work because i set it to null but you get the idea you can see that i use the names as generic only or generic partial why because typescript uh, comes with uh, a lot of uh, map types uh, which are very useful such as read only okay it already comes with one with one and it comes with partial okay so it is a partial one it is not my partial okay my partial was generic partial and uh, also it comes with a uh, pick okay and the signature of pick is is like this so the first parameter is uh, is the type okay for instance uh, cat and the second parameter should be uh, the properties which I want to take for instance age okay so now I have uh, a new type which is a partial uh, type which is not part it is not partial it is subset of the properties so for instance if I uh, add the name here too not like this with the union type uh, I have both the properties but if I add here uh, I don't know uh, 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 it which is a function C will not have it but if I put it like this it will have both the age and the it uh, and they will be updated as well and there are many more uh, useful map types they, which come with TypeScript and I'm sure they will add with time many more. You can look at the documentation 
about the map types to see uh, more uh, TypeScript map types. But all I wanted you to know is what are they, how to read them, how to read the syntax of the map types, and why they are useful. You've watched an episode about map types in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really want to see and click over here. If you want to see more code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on ProtoArts!